Did you know that you can create custom Microsoft Excel functions directly inside your Excel workbooks without writing a single line of VBA code? Well, utilizing Excel's Lambda function and named formulas or the name range manager, you can create reusable custom functions for your Excel workbooks. Let's take a look. Now open in front of you, I've got an example file. This is called item sales hyphen zero one. And I've made this file available for you to download so you can open it up and follow along with me. You'll find a link to this file in the video description, just right down below. Look for the officenoob.com blog link and you'll find the downloadable file there. So make sure you open it up and follow along with me. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the video, you learned something new, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we post to this channel each week on Microsoft Excel and other Microsoft Office tips and tricks. So let's jump into Excel here. All right, so inside of this workbook, I've got a simple list, item, quantity, unit price, and a subtotal, simple calculation here, just taking quantity times the unit price to give me a subtotal. But now I need a grand total that is the subtotal plus the tax rate. Now, I can do this one of a couple different ways. I can create the formula just directly here inside the workbook, or I can create a reusable function kind of like sum, min, max, average, VLOOKUP, and so on, but one that I've created of my own that I can then reuse to create my calculations. Let's try it. So I'm going to jump into E2, and to complete this, I'll go to my Formulas tab, and I'm going to go over into the Name Manager. Now, inside the Name Manager window, I don't currently have a name or a name range or name reference, so I'm going to go to New, First step, I get to give it a name. I'm going to call this uh, price with tax. Now, I've just made that name up. This is my custom function. So I, I want to name it something that people can make sense of, but something to watch for, no spaces. You can't include spaces inside of your name manager. Next step, I get to set up the scope. I'm going to leave it set to workbook. This way I can use it in any worksheet, any list, any table inside of this current workbook. The next thing, what does this name refer to? Well, in our case, it's going to return a value based on a calculation. And I'm going to utilize the Lambda function built into Excel to create this calculation. So I'm going to say equals Lambda, open parentheses. Now, the Lambda function really takes two things. It takes an argument or a parameter and a calculation. So my first step is eventually I want this calculation, price with tax, to take the subtotal, multiply it by the tax rate, and then add it to itself to give me the grand total. So here, first I'm going to drop in something called price, and I'm just making that up. Let's say this is my subtotal. I'm going to pass it the subtotal value, D2 or D3 or D4 or whatever it is. Then I'm going to say, I want you to return price plus the results of price times a tax rate. I'm going to say 0 0.075. Then I'm going to close the parentheses and I'll close it again. Let me zoom in on that so we can see it a little bit cleaner. But just the lambda. I'm expecting the user to give me an amount called price. Then it's going to take that price and then add it to the price times the tax to give me the grand total. All right. So all that calculation is happening within this name. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close the name manager window. And then I'm going to hop over to E2. Now here's the magic. We'll say equals price. Uh, price with tax. There it is. Got the open parentheses. Now, all I need to do is give it the price or the subtotal. I'll close the parentheses, hit my enter key, and there's my grand total. So it's taken that value, 49.98, and it's multiplied it by the tax rate, 0 0.075, added it to itself, and given me the grand total. 
I'll copy that down, give it a double click, and I'm done. I've created my custom Excel function utilizing the Lambda function and the name manager. And the rest is magic. Try it out. So utilizing two built-in features inside of Excel, the Lambda function and the name manager, you can create your own custom functions, reusable custom functions with all the complex calculations happening in the background, in the name, and all you need to do is reference the name, pass it a value, and you're good to go. So make sure you try this out. You've downloaded the file, you opened it up, and you've tried out this calculation right here. And try experimenting. Share in the comments down below where you can potentially utilize the Lambda function and the name manager to make your life easier as you work inside of Excel. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. I'll see you in the next video.